I reinforce the graphia with red ochre and a little bit of black. The objective of such second step is to execute more clean and defined lines. The execution of lights is not required by this model, and for such reason, the execution of the graphia must be extremely accurate. In fact, we create volumes only through the thick, thin rhythm of the graphic lines. We must use the tip of the brush. This is not a simple operation because the biacca tends to knead the tip of the brush that does not flow smoothly as a result. We should clean often the tip of the brush in a piece of cloth, or we risk to leave annoying and visible color overlays that might form patches. I start the first glazing on the entire surface of the face. The color is made by terra verde of Nicosia with an addition of yellow ochre. The glazing is very delicate and transparent. Try not to leave marks and patches on the surface. The line of the nose is one of the most characterizing features in this phase of the Mother of God. We must execute it with extraordinary attention. In its development, this line is subject to six changes of direction. Above all, please note that halfway in its development, the line is not continuous, but it changes direction to the right. Please also note the significant changes at the angle in the circular part below. I increase the intensity of the color in the cheek with a second, even more delicate step. The redness, by definition, must never impose itself. It should rather integrate in the general harmony of the face. Lips require a lot of work and care. I then go on with one or more final glazing with terra verde and yellow ochre. It is preferable to have multiple coats while keeping a diluted color. Pay great attention not to leave patches and spots and most of all, verify that the underlying layers are dry and do not melt when you go over with the brush during the glazing. I mark the point of redness, arrossamento, with diluted cinnabar and orpiment. This point of redness goes along with the posh shadowing and goes together even more delicately with the passage between shadow and light, conveying more volume to the shape. This phase requires extreme concentration associated with careful observation of the model at a distance. Sometimes the finishing of an icon is carried out over a few days with various touches and taking breaks as to facilitate the observation of the work. An alternation of this finishing phase with other routine jobs in the workshop may also help. I resume the first exedra.